very few countries do road trips like we do in Australia. And today we're taking one of my favourite lesser known road trips through the majestic wheat belt of WA. The pathway to Wave Rock starts about two and a half hours east of Perth at a quirky town of Corrigan. It's the only town in the whole of Australia that I know that has one of these. Located just outside of town, this is the final resting place for man's best friend. The Dog Cemetery was established in 1974 when Corrigan local Paddy Wright went in search of the town's softest patch of earth to bury his faithful companion. Here lies Strike, the first dog to be buried in this place. And he's now been joined by many of his friends. When I arrived here, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I thought it'd be quirky, but actually it's really emotional. It's an incredible celebration of our relationship with man's best friend. So don't bring just a camera, you want to bring tissues as well. And if I had a dog, I definitely want to make sure I give him a send off just like this. Corrigan's love affair with pooches is not limited to those that pass to the other side. In 2002, the town broke the world record for dogs in utes for a second time with 1,527 canines in utes. Who knew that was a thing? 30 minutes down the road at Coolan, I find the start of what has to be the most hilarious attraction of the entire wheat belt area. To promote the Coolan bush races, the fun-loving locals created a series of roadside tin horse sculptures. Today, they cover a 15K stretch of road. All the installations are so inventive and funny. I feel really connected to the local community through their humour. I wish I'd been around the kitchen table having a bottle of wine when all these crazy ideas came out. It is only 15 kilometres of road, but leave plenty of time to get out and enjoy them. Make sure you leave enough time to reach Australia's greatest wave before the sun sets. 110 metres long, 15 metres high, it's the ultimate granite green room. Wave Rock was just the destination to me, and then I've arrived. It is amazing, it is so big, it is so colourful, it actually overwhelms you. I've come right on sunset and I'm now a massive convert. Can't wait to get up the top and enjoy the view. You can't come to Wave Rock without overindulging in a great local secret, Australia's best vanilla slice. As the name suggests, there are multiple pathways to Wave Rock, which means there are just as many pathways back to Perth. And now I'm gonna take the Northern route. First, I'm gonna have a breakfast of champions. I could drive all day through this, have a butchers at these fields. Wait, have a closer look, what is that? G'day, mate. G'day, how are you? Good, Quentin. Ross. Ross, Ross Fidge, if they call me. Fiji. Fiji, what are you doing? Um, we were in America some time back and I saw a post that had a boot on every one and I thought we'd come back to Narrambeen and we'll outdo them. Now, back to the more common vista of the road, wheat and lots of it. 50% of Australia's wheat production comes from this region and 95% of it ends up on plates across Asia. That's something to celebrate, and in Narrambeen, they certainly do. The Grain Discovery Centre in the heart of town is home to all things wheat. Doesn't sound like an interesting way to spend a morning? Think again. Let's be honest, an institution dedicated to nothing but wheat sounds about as exciting as a root canal. But this is fascinating. 